Ryan Tannehill, Texas A&M quarterback. Ryan, what has it been like, you know, going through the facial motion capture of, uh, you know, here in the process? It's fun, you know, it's something that you never really think about doing, but, uh, you know, I, I, once I heard they were doing it, I thought it was going to be like a scan where they, you know, yeah. you stood in something and something went around your head, like, but it's all like pictures and, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, it's a cool process, you know, you, you make all these weird mouth movements and, uh, you know, they get all these pictures of, of you doing things that it probably looks really funny when you're just doing it alone, but I guess they blend it all together and it, and it makes it look realistic on how you talk. I mean, I'm always, I, aren't you guys worried about like, you know, if they get you in one bad, you know? Yeah, you know, you can always blame it on the video game. Like, oh, it's just a video game. So if you look like a fool, ah, oh, it's just a video game. You know, through all the rookie things that they have you doing, you know, how rate this on, you know, the level of coolness here. Oh, it's cool. You know, I, I don't know how to rate it on a scale, but uh, just being being able to be a part of the game, you know, have a, a realistic, you know, head scan and, and you know, visualization of, of the way you talk and the way you move. So uh, it's a really cool process. What is it going to be like knowing that you're going to be on Madden 13 next year? It's cool. You know, you, you, know, you go to college and it's, it's really exciting to, to be on the NCAA game. But uh, to be on the Madden game is just another step up. You know, it's... Uh, it's more realistic, you know, it has the, the names and, and everything in it built in. So, um, you know, it's exciting to be a part of the NFL and, and being a part of the Madden game is, is another cool part that goes along with it. You're, you're not just a number anymore. Exactly. You actually have a name and, you know, hometown and, you know, all that stuff. Speaking of numbers, you know, did you get over there and say, you know, can we bump up these ratings a little <laughs> bit? Or? Well, I tried to talk to the guy, but he said he's just the uh, capture guy, so he has no control over the numbers. So yeah, slip him a. Yeah, I didn't know who to talk to for that one. <laughs> slip him a ticket to the opener or doing everything. Yeah. So, how is it like being, you know, uh, drafted to the Dolphins? It's exciting. You know, I think I landed in a great spot. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a great organization with uh, great coaches and great players. So, um, you know, I had a couple tough years, but I think we're we're heading in the right direction. I have a lot of good players, uh, a good solid foundation of the team, and uh, we're looking to have a good year. Knowing that, you know, you are a rookie and you have to gain all that, you know, the playbook knowledge of a, a whole new system, you know, they do have the official playbooks on Madden. Do you think you'll, you know, brush up and maybe play at night and say, you know, this is... <laughs> I don't know if I'll uh, use Madden as a, as a brush up tool, but uh, I definitely enjoy playing. You know, I think it's something I do to kick back, relax. Uh, compete with a friend, you know, it's always fun to talk some trash and, yeah. and get on a video game. Give us some of your earlier memories, you know, playing Madden and other games. I think my first ones are on N64, you know, I think uh, that was big back when I was young. Big so block, yeah. You, know, you play the Mario Kart, but uh, Madden's always the NFL game, you know, if you want to play, play a football game, you play Madden. So, uh, you know, you play with the joystick and I don't even remember what the buttons are, the C buttons, the yellow <laughs> buttons over there, but, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. What other games are you playing nowadays? Uh, Call of Duty, so that's one game that I, oh, okay. I like to play. Uh, I play NCAA sometimes if uh, you know someone wants to play it, but I usually stick to Call of Duty, Madden, or NCAA. You get online and play other people, or are you just like a campaign kind of guy? I usually go online. You know, I uh, haven't played in a long time. You know, I play in the summers usually when I have a little bit more free time. But you know, during the season, during the year, uh, I don't have too much time to, to get on there. So uh, maybe I'll get get back to it uh, a little bit this summer. So being, you know, uh, a former receiver, how did, you know, do you ever kind of, you know, want to check off and become a receiver and, you know, run around a route, you know, no. since you're able to do it? No, <laughs> no you know, I think I, uh, I enjoyed my time at receiver, but a quarterback's where I want to be. And, uh, you know, if I can help any of the guys or, or it helps me be on the same page with them a little bit more uh, because I've been in their shoes. But uh, I think my receiver days are done. Does that give you any type of advantage over, you know, the others? Uh, I think it's definitely a unique situation where I can relate in a way that, that most other guys can't because, you know, I've been in their shoes, I've ran their routes, I, I've seen how, uh, you know, coverages adjust from, from that side of the game. So I think it gives me a different perspective that, that definitely helps me relate to the receivers, uh, you know, better. Any, any trick plays, you know, think they're going to throw your way, maybe have you out there in the Wildcat? Because the quarterback never does anything, but if they throw you the ball, we could... You know, should I put? I can draw one up for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know. You know, I think uh, you know, having that background may uh, may have a, a trick play somewhere down the road. But uh, you know, we didn't really use it too much at A and M as a trick play. So uh, hopefully, we got it in the back burner, and we're just waiting for the right time to, to bust it out.